it's 10.30 in the morning on Friday. One of my Fridays off. So I'm going to take you around and show you what I usually do on my days off. I'm all dressed. I usually don't put makeup on when I am on my day off. Unless I'm filming. Zach! Zachary! Time to get up! Zach! in case that my phone wasn't filming, I thought it was. I do not know if it wasn't. Either way, I'm at the process. Now I have to drop off two packages and I'll be back. It's on Susan. I sneeze like twice in there. I get really bad allergies in the morning. And the entire line of people and the post office lady basically shunned me for sneezing. When I say shunned is when I came up there, she made it like, do you have the flu mist? Like, no, I just have allergies in the morning. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> what do I do? Are you gonna send me out? Are you gonna quarantine me? I mean, I get it. It is flu season right now. I guess I can go. But, let me tell you, I've been taking virology classes and epidemics classes college course classes, free classes online, but they're still at the full co college course ones. And I understand what I need to do if I have the flu or fever and everything like that, but <laughs> the way she said that was like, that's gonna mean, the way you said that, it's kinda disrespectful. I don't know the right word. Rude, maybe that's the right word. I'm heading to Max's game store. It's a local game store around here. And I am going to pick up Zach's game. I do sound sick. I get. I understand that when I people meet me in the morning, I do sound sick. My nose is unclogged, and I get really bad mucus in my throat. But apparently, that's hereditary from what my dad said. I don't believe it, but apparently, it is. Zach and I are really, really big gamers. Let me see if I can fix this. And we're really big gamers. I'm a big open world type of gamer. I like any game that basically is open world and it doesn't split screen or it's not grid or anything like that. I love open world. I prefer fantasy because I grew up in the Dungeons and Dragons world of fantasy related stuff. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. I might have like tried it once. But my mom and dad were really into Dungeons and Dragons. They had a whole bunch of the books. They played with their friends like once a week and it was just a big thing in my life. We went to Red Bears the majority of my life. I believed in elves. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> uh, one of my videos in the future will be about a delusion that I had that's related to fantasy. Mainly I stick to fantasy games, but I do play like Grand Theft Auto, Saint Row, um, quite a few others that I can't remember the names of because I, I had a lot of games. I had gotten rid of a lot of them because I think right now our, our living situation isn't so perfect, not even close, we're really, we're actually afraid we might lose this house because of things that's going on, so we've just been selling a lot of things that we care about and things we don't care about in order to help pay rent. Normally people would just tell me, why don't you get a job? Right now with my mental disorders and how bad the episodes have been getting lately, I can't risk going to work and then losing the job right afterwards. I don't want to lose a job because of my mental disorders. So Zach has a job. Zach's the only one who has a job. My dad runs an auction building, owns one, and a consignment store, but they're not doing so peachy. So the most fucked up thing just happened. I'm at Max's game store and it's not here. I pre-ordered that game. What do I even fucking do? I gotta figure something out. Oh, Zach's gonna flip out. I'll be back. I have to call a few people. Do you see this? It's literally closed and I just tried calling. I just tried going to their Facebook. Everything is unavailable. It's not allowing me to get anywhere. And I pre-ordered that game and I paid in full. So I have no idea if it's gonna be sent to me. I have no, I have no way of contacting them. I'm actually furious right now. Freaking furious. Take it as this, I just told you I am having financial issues and I paid for this back in December. $60 is a lot of money for me. <laughs> a lot of money for me right now. 
So I have no idea if I'm going to be getting that game. So now I'm going to be going to Walmart across the street to get Zach his game because he's been dying for this game the moment we heard they were making it. So I am so angry right now. I want to call. I want. I want to get a hold of him, obviously, because if they don't send me it, I want a freaking you know, give me a refund, give me my money back. Very interesting Friday, ironic that I start vlogging on these days and this happens. So what happened was, I ended up going to Walmart, I purchased a game, I asked the guy there, is there a way I actually know how to handle this? He said, um, well, the thing is they closed down because I guess the place started on fire. Apparently the guy who owns the store had another video game business somewhere else and that started on fire. So now there's an, act an actual active investigation against him. So I call, I came back it's just right across the street and I called the number that's on the door and the door is like to buy the property kind of thing of course after it's fixed up I asked them like hey I had purchased a game pre-ordered it I haven't gotten reimbursed I don't know what's going on is there a way I can get in contact with the owner of the store he said I can't give you the information because he's under active arsenal investigation I'm like well, damn <laughs> I'm like okay thank you so much I don't think I'm gonna get reimbursed because there's no way for me to get uh, contact with him. I've looked online everywhere. Uh, the Facebook is not popping up anymore. The Twitter, they had a response since November. So, uh, weird, right? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'm out 60 bucks. That's so I'm home. I didn't go to the bookstore, decided not to, because no one wanted to go with me, and it's about 15 to 20 minutes away on like a highway and I get really paranoid on highways so I kind of have someone I have to have someone with me. I'm at home. Go make some Irish scones for my Irish recipe book. I'm gonna go do that. Hopefully have a better day after what I just heard and losing $60. So I started baking and then the power goes out. Like the entire power goes out. So I got this food ready to go into the oven. And I can't do anything about it, and I have a lot of dishes to do. Yeah. What a day. They are all done. Mom says she likes them, so that's what matters, you know? So we ended up going to the mall instead. To get some nice... Oh, I, some nice seafood salads and just take a walk. We didn't buy anything. We don't have any money to buy anything. And then we're back at home. Zach's playing his new game, and I'm probably gonna go watch some shows and do some research because it's one of those days for me where I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Hey, so it's 12 o'clock now. We are been trying to go to bed at like 9 o'clock. Obviously, that didn't work. Zach's playing his new game, so you can't get him off. My hair looks like a mess because it wasn't a bun, but then I was playing with my niece, and now it's not a bun. Gotta brush my teeth, wash my face, put lo lotion on my face, feed Hades, and the cat's already fed, and then it's off to watching Taiwanese or Korean dramas before we So that's my day off Fridays, usually like I said earlier, that it's either day off or tomorrow work day, so luckily tomorrow we also have a day off. I don't know if I'll film it though, because that's not my average day off, because that actually has a day off, and that's at tomorrow, which is Saturday, so who knows. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy these vlogs.